ULPT, when looking for help online. Post a statement that you know is wrong. People are more likely to respond to something wrong with a long answer to prove themselves than if you had just asked the question. ULPT propose to the woman of your dreams with a fake diamond ring. If she rejects you tell her it's fake anyways. If she accepts it then don't say anything. If she finds out it's fake tell her you don't believe in blood diamonds and African slave labor. If it's true love she will understand. ULPT. Concerned about unvaccinated children spreading infection? Start rumors amongst anti-vaxxers that exposure to vaccinated children can cause their unvaccinated children to develop autism. The anti-vaxxers will be sure to keep their children at a safe distance. ULPT. Stuck in an internet or TV service contract with AT&T or Sfinity etc. Tell them you're moving to an address that they do not offer service at and they will waive your early termination fee. Just look at their website and check the coverage map for whatever service you have AT&T has one for sure and locate an address that is not in coverage and they will waive your ETF without a struggle. Edit from you slash trendinger. This will probably not get noticed since this was posted 8 hours ago but I've worked the last 5 or so years in the industry and last year I had a cow walker tell me the correct way to leave Sfinitin at sure if it will work with other companies. Depends on how they offer their services. The first step is to drop internet and phone, if you have it. You'll need to keep cable, but only for a moment you can even cancel it in the same phone. Call if you want. Switch to the most basic cable package. Comcast does not offer a contract for the lowest tier of service. Once you have done that, you are free to cancel your service without being charged an ETA fee. The reason this works is because the terms of Comcast contract state that you must keep one of their services at all times. By dropping to the lowest tier of service you meet the contract terms while also dropping your contract. Happy fee free cancelling fellas. ULPT. Do you hate the song your gf slash bf slash so plays over and over again? Make it your alarm tone when you sleep next to them. They will eventually start hating it. However the song you hate will be the first thing you hear every morning. ULPT. Want to extend a failing relationship? Buy a very young puppy or kitten for your significant other. The distraction of its cuteness could carry you through the next 6 to 12 months. ULPT. Have a tattoo of an ex's name and can't afford the expensive tattoo removal fee? Get a cheap gang tattoo over it and find someone who helps ex-gang members remove it for free. ULPT, buy your wife the same perfume your girlfriend uses, so your wife doesn't know you're cheating on her. Alternatively, buy your girlfriend the same perfume your wife wears, or buy both slash all of your GFs the same perfume. Lotion 2, that stuff can be smelly and very transferable. ULPT, if you need to cancel a hotel reservation, but are already past the free cancellation window. Call and push the reservation out to further in the future then call the next day to cancel for free. Edit. It has been a while since I've had a post blow up like this. But it's funny how polar opposite the takes are. This won't work versus. I've done this a couple times. ULPT. Somebody posts a bad review of your business? Just respond to them with a made up a story that makes them look bad. ULPT. Don't want to spend a small fortune on a wedding ring? Buy an old wedding ring at a pawn shop and say that it was your grandmother's ring. This will give it more sentiment and value than a new ring. ULPT. Buying something second hand off of apps like OfferUp. Create multiple accounts to use one where you will offer the amount you wish to purchase at and all the others to lowball the shit out of the seller to make them think that yours is the best offer. Which is how I just purchased my drone for 300 less than what they're asking. Got, I'm a slime ball. ULPT, bring a walking stick with you to whatever pub you're planning on getting drunk at, so that bartenders will attribute your drunken stumbling and stuttering to you being disabled, and won't cut you off. Most bar workers are extremely wary of mistaking a disability for inebriation, 